everyone! So today, I'm going to show you guys how to make this shrink plastic Christmas pin. So the materials you will need are What we're going to do is First, we're going to draw our design on a white piece of paper. You can design your own thing if you're inspired or if you just want to use the design that I made. I will have a scanned copy of this on my blog. Link will be in the description box below. Because it is just going to be a scanned copy, it won't be like the best quality or clean lines. Just giving you guys a heads up. The radius of the inner circle is going to be about 3 centimeters and the radius for the outer circle is going to be about 4 centimeters. Oh, and first I'm actually going to draw everything in brown color pencil. It, it draws on pretty lightly because I'm not the best at drawing and I'm going to make a shit ton of mistakes. So as you can see, I dotted around in a circle, and we're going to play connect the dots. Okay, so your wreath isn't going to be exactly this skinny, but this will be a guideline to where everything should go into place. I'm going to draw some bumpity bumps to represent the leaves, I, I guess. Ta-da! Now it's time to draw all the little critters in your wreath. Now the rough draft is done, so I'm going to take this marker. You can use your permanent marker, but I'm just going to use this one. Never mind, fuck that. This pen sucks. Okay, so I was an idiot, and while I was outlining everything, I realized I didn't hit the record button. So, sorry, but everything is outlined. I have my shrink plastic ready. Um, the rough side is gonna be touching the drawing, and then I'm gonna have the smooth side on top, just to secure things. The optional tape. This is gonna be the final form, so hopefully I'll get this right. Using my permanent marker, Sharpie, Fine tip. So I finished the outlining, and if you can see, I didn't do the little details because that is going to be painted instead of um, outlined. We're gonna take this, and then I don't want it to bleed. We're going to just emphasize the details with permanent marker. 
Make sure you can see it in the back. Okay, so just check your drawing, see if everything looks fine. Um, this is the best that I could do. Anyways, now it's time to paint. So I'm gonna take the sheet, and then if you align it, the details fit. Wow! I know they're not perfect, but I think it's a good enough guideline. So what I'm going to use is acrylic paint. This is Artist Loft from Michaels. And of course, we have our brushes. And once again, I am going to tape it. Let's begin. First, we are going to do the small details. Also, you guys should keep in mind that the colors will darken when we bake it and shrink it later. So um, try to keep it like one or two shades lighter than what you are going for. Oh, fuck. I didn't color the nose of the snowman. Okay, once everything has dried, you're gonna start cutting. One thing I would advise when you're cutting is to cut like this. But not to cut like this. Because it causes a rip. Also, try your best not to touch, ew, not to touch the permanent marker because the oil on your hands and fingers will smudge it off. Okay, the next part's gonna be a little bit trickier because now we have to cut the inside. So now everything is cut and it is ready to be baked. Okay, you should look at your shrink plastic instructions to see what the requirements are. Mine is to bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, I mean, I think you're supposed to put in a preheated oven, but I just do this. And I have this board with parchment paper so I can flatten it after it comes out of the oven. Oh. 
cut. And here is the finished product. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned, um, you wanna keep the painted side on the paper and the clear side on the top. It is time for us to Mod Podge it. Go back and make sure everything is smoothed out to the best of your abilities. Like this here, that is unacceptable. It's gotta be a lot smoother. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, now it's good enough. Wait, no. Okay, now it's good enough. I'm going to wait for it to dry and I'll be back. As you can see now that the Mod Podge is all dried and now it's going to be time for the UV resin. I'm going to add UV resin and glitter first just for a little bit extra because nothing says Christmas like glitter and Jesus Christ. I'm going to flash cure it and then I'm just going to add this iridescent glitter. I'm gonna add a bunch. And then a layer of UV resin. So I'm gonna do one more layer. But first, I'm going to set it on fire. No, I'm just going to pop all the bubbles out with this. My phone is in my face, so it's going to be an awkward angle. Okay, I'm going to flash cure it and then do another layer. Make sure everything looks good. I'm going to pop the bubbles again. And then afterwards, I'm going to pop it into my UV lamp for about four minutes and I will be back. The front side is all finished. Wow, look at that. And now we're going to do the back side. Basically, um, no Mod Podge required because it's already rough in texture. We're just gonna put the UV resin on directly. Okay, I'm gonna pop it into the UV lamp for another four minutes. Yeah! The back side is also finished now. We're going to take our E600, just kidding, 6000, and our pin. Make sure it opens and closes well. All right, that's good. And we're going to glue it on. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to leave it on overnight and then by tomorrow it should be dried and hardened. The pin is completed. So what do you guys think? I like it except for this bulge here, but that's my fault for not following the guidelines when I was drawing the, the leaves, the wreath. What's the point of having a guideline if you're not gonna follow it? But either way, I still like it a lot. If you guys have any questions, um, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer them in my next video. And that is all I have to say, so bye! If I hold it like this, then you can't see my mistake. Also, I'm going to redraw this to fix the bulge and then I'll have that scanned and uploaded instead.